Well, you know, the old adage that we go by is, if you have a chance to top off, top off. And sometimes, just because you can make it 150 miles on a tank, you don't know if the gas station at the other end of that 100 miles is really going to be open or functioning, and we planned ahead for that. Buy gas off the locals. You know, I only see them every year or two or whatever, but they're pretty consistently there. It's probably the same guys. Probably has been forever. Estás aquí todos los días. Ah, las cinco y media de la mañana, las seis de la tarde. Es un buen negocio, ¿no? No, no más para comer. Muy poco, un poco negocio. At first, when I actually heard that we had a guide, I was kind of like, oh, really? We have a guide? Like, I think it could be pretty easy, but it's actually been really good having those guys because they've done this before and you might run out of gas. I was trying to get it all from one guy, but there's two dudes that are split in this territory, so he doesn't want to cock block the other dude, so he made it more complicated. Where else are you going to buy gas? All right, so 560 pesos. Might be sure yeah, luck around here. Yeah. yeah. This might be the two only guys in there. I think we'd fucking be in some severe trouble or like somewhere in the gutter if it wasn't for Bill. Oh shit. Well, I can't wait for your interview. It's like these fucking kooks, man. <laughs> these fucking monkeys. <laughs> think they're riding bikes and shit. He seems like he has a pretty good tolerance. I know he gets fed up having to wait for everyone because we do so much waiting at gas stations. I'm just kind of driven. I want to get up early. I want to hit the road. I want to get my miles done. In case there's a problem, I want to be d working on it in the daylight. And so guys would kind of do their own thing, and some would want to go faster and some slower and that kind of thing. And it complicates the movement. Yeah, he doesn't like waiting. If we did the other ride, he'd be like, OK, get your gas. OK, let's go. I like riding by myself. I like riding a motorcycle by myself. I like being completely alone and doing whatever I want. So like, I like to break off and be on my own. He definitely like, you know, has the kind of lone wolf kind of air about him. Just sitting off in the shade, like I've already got gas. I was here a half hour ago. I'm ready. He doesn't care if he rides. 500 miles a day, I don't think he would just do it. Like, honestly, if it, if it was just me and Heath on this trip, or if it was just Heath, like, turns where we went into, like, San Ignacio, like, that wouldn't happen. I mean, it gets from okay to epic as you slowly get down you know, closer to the, to the bottom. This is the closest thing to an oasis I think I've ever seen, except for pictures of them in National Geographic. It only lasts for a few miles and then it's gone. It's a pretty awesome little spot. True Baja, to me, really starts in San Ignacio. It just feels like authentic Baja. There's hand-painted signs and things that look exactly like they looked when I saw them 20 years ago, and they probably look exactly like they looked 50 years ago. At the end of September, I just put two small fractures near the toes. Skating makes it sore, and we're doing too many donuts on the motorcycle. So, doctor said just keep trying to not do anything that makes it hurt, and it'll get better. Have you ever seen Heath skate in person before? I'm sure I have at some point in person. Oh. Wait, okay, we're gonna go way back to 1994 when Foundation did a demo in my hometown, Nelson, BC. Saw him skate then. He was probably 15. He's sick. Teeth Kerchart. Our 
Arto is just, is actually kind of a similar vibe to like friends from Canada and Australia that I've been on motorcycle trips with. You know, that kind of like get in the water kind of attitude, it's like go for it. Just trying to get as epic as possible at all times. I don't think we've ever ruined a more ancient skate spot, which is kind of awesome. It's the local church. Let's go have a look inside, see what they got. Are you religious? Not so much. The ceilings look pretty cool. Must have been so hard to build. I had sex with a go, lot of hookers. Go on, my child. And did go tons on. of blow. Oh, it's all right. Jesus forgives you. Thank God. For, for such things. How much was the coke? Ah, uh, I forget. The hooker was expensive though. You probably got ripped off. Holy Just don't do it again. Alright. Hail Mary, from the grace. <laughs> Hail Mary, amen. <laughs> Jesus likes money. <laughs> it's in every corner of this place. Bueno, sí, bueno, sí, se alcanza hasta acá. Ande. You see those kids dressed up? There's gonna be a party up here in a couple hours and we'll be able to party with the locals. San Ignacio was like the first legitimate camp spot. And we showed up and it was just this dirt. <laughs> I don't know. Just this dirt lot. And it looks a little bit unepic, <laughs> <laughs> if I must say. Hey, make just... your bed. This doesn't so. look like it. What, dude, there was a massive hurricane here in August. Right. They oh, are this has been flooded. Out. You're welcome to explore. This is what there is. I mean, I went to the other campground that he had picked originally. There's no way to even get into it. It's just palm trees and sand and rocks and stuff, you know? So this is kind of where we're at. Are those vultures or just birds? Did you have any fun in town that night? Yeah, it was pretty fun. Like, it was Halloween proper, I guess. <laughs> and all the kids were out trick or treating. Man, that kid's cool. He's a kitty. <laughs> Little kitty. How about these guys? 
¿Tú eres un zombie? Sí. Un zombie. Salen en Michael Jackson, en Thriller. Era mi ídolo. ¡A la audiencia! ¿Dónde está el party? ¿Dónde es la fiesta? ¿Dónde está la fiesta? No hay. No hay. No hay. No hay. ¿Qué? Por agua. ¿Qué dice? ¿Quién es él? ¿Eh? ¡Hola! ¡Adiós! 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 party, man. How hard is it to party? It's kind of a weird scene in the town square. There's like all these old guys sitting in these line of chairs watching like a boxing match on TV. Oh, there's boxing right here. And then like 20 feet to the left of them were all of their kids beating the shit out of each other with boxing gloves on. Hola, como esta usted? Hola, Carlos. Oh, you think he's badass? Yeah. He's got pipes and his muscles. Like when I saw that, I was like, oh, we need to like get involved in this. We need to be like become a part of it. How exciting this is. We haven't seen any young people this entire trip. Look at this. Turns out you just got a box. We need boxing gloves. When I was there, like I was like, I want to be like in this. Like I was like, I, I want a box, but I don't want to be the guy that's like, I want a box. But like they just kind of like put the gloves on me. I just don't want to fight that one guy. No, Carlos! No! <laughs> Too late? Too late? Too late? Oh. Who am I getting? Hey, hey. It's you, man. Is he making fun of me? You got me. <laughs> what happened to your finger? No, but you hit me in the nose. Oh, wait. Oh. He kicked the shit out of Carlos. Do you guys remember when he was telling me to fight the kid after? I was like, what? No, dude. I'll actually get beat up. There's going to be like all these kids beating us up. That was pretty fun. And we waited like two hours for our food. Well, that was all right, because we all got drunk. You held your own, man. You had him go. I did not. I thought I'd get knocked out. You didn't get knocked out. You stumbled one time. That was it. <laughs>